Hi, hey Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Um, I just did the video on my legacy shop vac setup where I added the air box with the air filter. And uh, that prompted a comment from somebody that said that they wanted to take their shop vac. And they used to have a thing baffle, but now they just use a uh, paper bag uh, to filter. And okay, I just as, as I said, I've done those things myself. So, but it got me to thinking that why don't I show how you can take that shop back? I have one more shop back in my shop. I have three of them in all. Long story, but anyway, I'm going to take that third one, and I'm going to make a shop back cart. But the shop back cart is going to have multiple functionality. It's going to do shop back type of work where you can hook it up to the shop hose and use it that way <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> you're going to be able to switch it over in just a matter of seconds and use it as a leaf blower or some kind of blower in your shop to clean areas up by using the gentle blowing of the shop vac and it's going to filter the air and you shouldn't have to clean and replace that filter near as often as you would if you put it inside the shop vac i'm going to show you where it should go like i did with the other one um, but also, I also want to make sure that we have this thing to be mobile and I'm going to give it one more functionality. I'm going to also turn it into a downdraft table when I want to do it, use it to do some sanding. I'll be able to set the piece right on top and use it as a downdraft table. So I'll show you the design of all that when we get done, but let's go over the rough schematic of this. Now I do up some plans. <clears throat> They're not available or anything. Uh, I only have them on my low resolution monitor and I'm going to use my la analog laser pointer. And This is uh, my schematic. Excuse the, pis uh, the pixel level. It's really not very good resolution on this monitor. But it's all I have. So <clears throat> we have our shop vac. Let's go over the major components that you're going to need. You're going to need a shop vac. You're going to need a theme baffle. You're going to need a vacuum hose to hook up to either or on the connections, intake, or the exhaust of the shop vac. You're going to need an AV blast gate. Now, because we want to quiet this down, I'm also going to incorporate a sound baffle box and the air filter box. So there's four components, and we're going to build them into four separate boxes here. I'm going to build a shop vac box build a theme baffle box, an air filter box, and a sound baffle box. And I don't know exactly where this is going to end up, but those are the four major components. I want to also incorporate some wheels on it, a three-point contact on the floor, so it'll be one leg at the front and two wheels at the back with a handle so that you can pull it back and roll it around like a two-wheel dolly. And that's how you'll be able to move it around the shop and when you set it down, it'll stay put where you have it. On the very top, I'm going to bring the intake hose connection down from the very top. And the top would be a nice flat top so you can use it as a work surface. But also, I'll have an attachment that will hang on the side somewhere that you'll be able to take this and it'll be a four-sided box with pegboard for the top of the table. And it'll set perfectly on the top workbench table so that it, it engulfs over the top of the intake for the shop vac. And then this will become a downdraft table then. Just by setting that table on top, you can put things on top and sand them down with the shop vac running, and it'll give you that uh, downdraft table effect. So you'll be able to use it as a workbench, as a downdraft table, as a shop vac, and as a leaf blower type thing. So that's the functionality of it. It'll be mobile. And also, each of, these two, uh, each of these four boxes that I'm going to create and attach them to each other, they will all have their own door opening so that you'll easily be able to get into, like this one, be able to get in and either work on the shop vac or pull it out completely if you want. Make that easy to do. And I'll have doors on so you can clean them out if you want. Uh, especially here and here, I'll also have some kind of view window to make sure that it's not filling up with with debris and affecting the, the cleaning of it, how clean it is, and make sure that this doesn't fill up with dirt and dust. 
So uh, I don't know for sure how well everything will work when you get done, obviously, because I'm building everything except for the shop vac. Everything else I'm pretty much building. Obviously, I'm going to buy a shop filter. I'm going to use the two two-gallon paint buckets for the theme baffle. Uh, like I did for the last one, but you could put a cyclone on here instead of the theme baffle if you wanted to and still use the easy emptying bucket idea. You just would affect how tall this thing is going to be. What's going to dictate the overall height of this is the height of my shop vac, which in turn makes the height of this box has to be a certain amount for clearance and such. And then this one, which we'll probably set on top, that has to be at least 18 inches tall. And so this box is 20 by 20 and probably three and three feet tall or so. Um, this is going to have to be at least 20 inches tall for the two five gallon buckets because those are nine by nine. And so that's about 18 or 20 inches there by the time you get done with the whole theme baffle dimension on height. So the overall height of the card, I suspect is going to be around 45, 43 inches maybe. We'll see. Uh, this is a work in progress. That's what happens when you think outside the box sometimes. You <laughs> you just start going with it. And I'll probably make changes as I go along. How am I going to fit all four of these boxes to each other? And once I do, then I'll do the plumbing between and run the PVC pipe and the, and the hose and all that so that I can have um, that all hooked up as one unit when I get done. So it'll be modularized, and then if you need to change something, all of a sudden you decide the filter's not big enough, let's say, for example, you can take that box off, redo it, and put it back on there, and you won't affect the overall uh, usage of it and make changes to just one part or the other. So anyway, this is the plan. It's going to take several videos to do this, quite frankly. So uh, if this is something you might have an interest or use in, either the whole cart or just use some of the ideas in what you already have. You know, I think there's going to be a lot going on in the next few videos on this project. So, stay tuned. I would appreciate it if you did. I hope you enjoy it. That gives you an idea of what I'm, I'm going to be doing over and take several videos to do it. Probably five, guessing right offhand, but we'll see at the end. If you have any suggestions, please tell me. Uh, otherwise, just stay along. Oh, one more thing. I may do other quick videos about other subjects as I'm going through doing this. It's not going to be the next five videos. Uh, how long this will take, I don't know time-wise either. Probably between one and two weeks if I took a guess, but it could be longer. Sometimes I get busy. So anyway, that's what's going on in my shop. Uh, I want to thank you for stopping by. If you have any ideas, suggestions, or comments about what we're doing here, I'd love to hear them. Uh, if you like this video, please say so, and that'll help me know that I'm doing something that you really want to watch. So, but otherwise, most importantly, please, thank you for stopping by, and please come back again, because as you can see, we're nowhere near done. Thanks, and we'll see you again very soon.